Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cisco ASA tutorial. So in this video I'll show you how to configure our Cisco ASA syslog with Splunk. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is Splunk? So actually Splunk is what we call a security information and event management software, okay? So Splunk is a software platform which searches, analyzes and visualizes the machine generated data. So in our case it will be actually Cisco ASA firewall, okay? So actually uh, Splunk can read unstructured or semi-structured and rarely structured data, okay? So after reading the data, Splunk allows you to search, tag, create, and also report this data, okay? So first thing first, we have to install it. So I will be installing it on my Linux machine. Here I'm using Ubuntu, but you can install it also on Windows or on Mac OS, okay? So in order to install it, you actually have to download it from the website so I will show you the website of Splunk so this is the website of Splunk so you go here just to free Splunk of course you have to register in order to download software so they have a lot of version there is a cloud version there is enterprise version okay but you can just download the, uh, the enterprise version a trial version of enterprise version okay and later you can convert it to free actually version which has some limited features but for us it's far enough to actually get our syslog into splunk okay so as i told you you have to create an account then you will be prompted to download software from the different platform that you have okay so now so let's move on to our uh, console and install it on our Ubuntu server. So the first thing, let me log on using SSH to my Ubuntu server here. So here the IP address of my Ubuntu server is 192.168.1.3. Okay, so I will confer here the fingerprint and I will provide here the password. So as you can see, I'm connected to my server, which I call it Splunk server. So let me switch to the actually uh, root prompt because I want to install a lot of things here. Okay, so the first command that I'm going to execute is actually in order to download software. Okay, so the command here is pretty straightforward here. I'm moving to a thump directory in order to download this uh, software here for the Debian. As you can see here, it has as an extension.db because I am on the Debian system. Okay. And as you can see also, I'm just using version 7.1 because it's far enough for me. But I guess right now they reached uh, version 9, something like that. Okay. So let's download it first. Okay, it's downloaded. So let's verify that with the last command. So you can see that Splunk version 7.1.1 has been downloaded. So now we can install it using the command dpkg minus i for install. And I will provide the file name. Here we go. okay so you can see this the setup has been finished then we can enable splunk to start at boot so by default it installed on the directory slash opt slash actually splunk bin and this is our splunk enable boot start okay And here, of course, we have to scroll down 
for just to accept the license at the end here. So you can see Splunk Software License Agreement, so we have to answer yes. And here, of course, you have to provide admin password. So this password, you will be using it in order to log on to the web interface. Okay. So let me input password, confirm it. And here we go. So now we can actually start our Splunk using the command service Splunk start. Okay. So now the service has been started. Let's verify that using the command uh, service Splunk status. And as you can see, the service is loaded and running. So now we can move on. As you can see here, there is a port for the service, which is 8000. So we can just log on from any any uh, web browser and reach actually this server in order to configure our Splunk. So let's do it. So I will go here, open my web browser, and I will type the IP address of my Ubuntu server and of course I'll provide here the port 8000 et voila this is the Splunk Enterprise web interface so we'll use admin and of course here we input the password that we entered during the installation so let me sign in Here we go, we can just uh, here uh, skip this window here. So this is the web GUI of our Splunk, okay? So now in order to send uh, our syslog messages to Splunk server here, we have to go actually to the Cisco SDM in order to configure that. So let me configure it. So I will go here, as you can see, this is our SDM. So I will log on here. Here we go. So in order to configure uh, our Splunk as syslog server, you have to go to your configuration device management, as you can see here. And there is a whole login section. Okay, so for the login setup, you actually have to check this box here, enable login. Okay, then you go to your uh, syslog servers and you add your server. So let's add our server here, which is Splunk. So our uh, syslog server, which is in this case Splunk, is located on the inside zone and it has an IP address that 192.168.1.3 okay and of course I will keep the default UDP port of 514 and I will hit OK and we have to apply that and this is the command that you actually must do if you are using uh, the command line instead of the SDM so I will send that and I will saved configuration so now all our syslog uh, messages are sent actually to the splunk server which is our ubuntu server actually okay so if you click on the splunk enterprise logo here it will be prompted with this uh, change license group so as i told you here i actually have uh, enterprise trial license okay but i can convert it to free license so if you are using free license you will be using the software for free but uh, it has a limit of 500 megabyte per day okay indexing volume 
So for me it's far enough, so I will choose this uh, free license here and I will save and restart is required, so I have to restart the Splunk actually in order to, to change this to take effect so here are you sure you want to restart Splunk so I will just hit OK and I will wait for the Splunk to be restarted in order to use the free license so as you can see here restart successful click OK to log on back again So I will just refresh here my station. So in order to see our uh, syslog messages, you have to go to your settings, data inputs. And after that you go to your uh, UDP section, so here listen on UDP port for incoming data, for example syslog, ok. So I will add new here, and here all I have to do is to provide here the port which is by default 514, and other options are just optional. So I will go next. For the select source type here I will just hit Cisco and Cisco ASA as you can see here I can select it and also I will keep the other thing as a default I can go to review here so this is everything needed and I will submit here and finally we get that start searching so search your data now or see example auditory if you want so let's start searching et voila as you can see now we get all our syslog here in this uh, interface so we have all the different events that are sent from our Cisco ASA to the, our Splunk here server okay and of course here in this search area we can uh, do whatever we want in order to filter by IP address or by source IP so Splunk is actually a pretty pretty good platform that help you with that and you can see here we have about 2563 events that are displayed right now and of course here we can filter by the last minute last five minutes or the last 13 minutes if you want but the most interesting thing here that actually Splunk even with that has provided us with some uh, structured data here so we have here for example the IP address of our Cisco ASA we have the source, we have the source type and the timestamp it's always visible in a very neat format but on the coming videos I will show you how you can tweak that for your needs okay so that was just a short video to show you how to configure actually Splunk as a syslog server for our Cisco ASA as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye